KO. It didn't KO. This move sucks. Alright. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a bit of an announcement. Also, if you're watching on Twitch, big announcement. Welcome to the channel. What's up? How are you doing? Um, a lot of people ask me, Mr. Boosted, how do I get my teams to be used by you? Very simple. If you want me to use your team, I have a new system. All you have to do, and this is encouraging people to use a website that I use right now, that I very much enjoy, and it's not a website that you haven't heard of. It is, da 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 da, if I could get there. The smoke, eh, hold on. I'm stupid. The Smogon Forums. So yeah, this is my page on the Smogon Forums. If you want me to use your team, literally all you have to do is, and it's no guarantee I'm gonna use it. Like I'm only gonna use some teams that I find interesting. You can sell me on it with like a description, but uh, I'm going to be using teams here. Uh, that's where I'm gonna get my rentals from. And all you have to do is post a screenshot of the code or just the code itself, uh, along with a pokey paste like this one right here. And yeah, today we're gonna be using a team from C Buddy, who is a consistent viewer of the channel, Ferrigraph enthusiast. And it's a really interesting one. You see, we have Galarian Moltres with Fire Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Plot stuff. And yeah, if we just look at the actual team, it's just pretty interesting. Uh, three segment to Dunsparce with the Rocky Helmet, I think is really cool. I can only imagine that it's meant to help deal with opposing Urshifu. And yeah, uh, pretty cool little team here. I want to try it out. We're going to use it. And yeah, let's take it for a, let's take it for a spin. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me get this rental going. All right. So the code is 4D8NPX. It's going to get us our rental here. Gonna go and borrow this team. And yeah, the reason I want to start taking teams from my Smogon wall is just because it's a lot easier to like sift through them. Um, because it encourages people to also post the paste, you know? <laughs> it's not like I have to check through my Twitter. So yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. You finish up by gimmick Pokemon retrospective? Yeah. I think another reason I'm like interested in using more viewer teams is because. Um, I want to focus more on that edited content, and it's a lot easier to get that edited content out if I have consistent content coming out of just like rental teams and stuff. And I will be using my own team, uh, my own teams on the channel still, but those are going to be like showdown lives, and I'm going to dedicate a day of the week to doing that specifically. Uh, and that'll be like a, a stream day, probably on weekends. But yeah, let's get into it. Sorry for the long intro. It's been like two minutes. There's still no battling. Obviously, I'm going to leave a link to my Smogon page in the description down below if you just want to share your teams there. It's a lot easier than sharing them in the comment section because in the comment section, it'll auto-detect links and be like, oh, that's a pokey paste. Can't have that. So it's a lot easier to do this. Is this Shady Penguin? This is not Shady Penguin. All right. So looking at this team, I'm just taking another glance at it before we get started. Uh, Cresselia, Safety Goggles, Icy Wind, Trick Room, Lunar Blessing. It looks like into this team, I have kind of a rough time without screens. So we're going to want to lead off with the Grim Snarl. Um, and I do think that... Oh, it is Light Clay. Okay. So I think Grim Snarl plus U plus U. And I'm really tempted. Do we have Lunar Blessing on this? We do have Lunar Blessing on this. I think we're going to go with Cresselia then. And yeah, I think just dual screens plus like Moltres could be really solid. Who up to Dunsing they sparse right now? Of course, exactly. Cresselia is Ice Beam, not Icy Wind. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the Dunsparce probably couldn't show up to this match just because they have, like, a ton of Pokemon that just deal with it. And it, it does seem like it's specifically for, like, Urshifu and, like, Chen Pao and stuff. Hyper Drill is really cool, too. Being able to hit through Protect, you're like a little mini Urshifu. Hopefully I can click that at some point. Also, Glare plus Fiery Wrath seems like a crime. That just seems like it should be illegal, man. Is the audio synced up, by the way? You know what? I'm going to do something real quick just to make sure the audio is synced up. This always annoys me. But sometimes my Elgato will desync the audio, even though it's like a brand new Elgato. Deactivate, activate, there we go. We should be good. 
And I did it while nothing was on screen, so you didn't even notice that we lost footage. Alright. Uh, that should be a free reflect. And I am also going to protect here, because parting shot next turn seems really big. I need to get a haircut, man. Alright, vote now in chat. Haircut or do I grow it out? Do I get like long hair? Do I get long luscious hair? Do I just become a hairy dude? Alright, that's Terra Water. I have a feeling they rain danced. You could see me pulling off the long locks. I'm sure my mother couldn't. Alright, try to get rid of this Moltres, please. I'll be so happy if you do. Get a man bun? Bet. Nice. Okay, that's a free parting shot. And I'm not even going to bother setting up. I'm just going to go for the damage. Parting shot. Fiery Wrath. Good damage. Throw it like your muscles. Ooh, world's weakest Bo Chen player. What's funny is we're going to get Landorus in here, and this is going to do like six damage to me. Unless they crit, in which case, ow. I kind of hope they're also Swift Swim and not Adaptability, because that will matter quite a bit here. I get the feeling Swift Swim will just bounce off of us, but Adaptability, not so much. Alright, so this is going to be minus two Basque Legion in a second. Um, after Reflect. How did Grimmsnow rise to usage in a format where uh, Urshifu runs rampant? Teams without Urshifu. Oh, he just went for it. Okay. This might just be a KO then? Oh, I live? Dude. Dude. Alright, Bleak Wind Storm probably, right? Dang, I'm not actually a fan of that. That actually isn't even... That, that actually is, isn't really the best for me. Because, um... I would have gotten my Berserk boost here. And I don't think this KOs. Yeah, I would have gotten my Berserk boost. Alright, um... You know what? I'm gonna get Grimmsnarl back in. I'm gonna light screen up. And we'll just Fiery Wrath again, yeah. I can take the damage. I can take it. Like, a super effective hit. Like, that was, like, arguably the strongest wave crash you can get in this game. And they just, it just bounced off of me. Basket Legion switches out. Nice. Golden Go comes in. I I'll take it. I'll take it. That's good damage, man. Liquid Storm. Doesn't quite send me into barrier range, which is kind of unfortunate. All right. Good damage on you. Let's get in our Cresselia, and I'll parting shot here. Kind of concerned it might be Specs Golden Go. But I'm kind of willing to risk it. Yeah, I'm willing to risk it. We're going to Tailwind. No Terra Steel, so I should be fine. It's going to be a really long end game. Make it rain, should live this. That still hurt. That still hurt a lot. Get my Berserk boost, I'm going to get my Berry too. This will be a double KO. 
Depending on what's in the back, I might just Trick Room. Because we're not a terribly fast Galarian Moltres. Yeah, <laughs> Cresselia plus Berserk is an infinite spitak glitch. Yeah, this team seems really fun for that, honestly. Like, I like Galarian Moltres because of how annoying it can be behind screens. And I'm really into screens right now. Basket Legion. Rillaboom. Okay. So let's think. Let's think. Oh wait, I why did I say they didn't Terra Steel? They can't Terra Steel. That's that's a freaking Basket Legion. Okay. Unfortunate Oh, I'm Terra Poison on Cresselia. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna Terra Poison to avoid massive last respects damage. And I'm gonna attempt to Trick Room. And honestly, I think I'm fine just to go into like my my Grim Snarl here. Or actually, nah, I just protect. Nah, we'll fire Wrath. <laughs> we'll fire Wrath. We'll risk it all. We'll, we will risk it all. I'm crazy, man. Alright, double the crust. They didn't double the crust. It's fine. Last respects. Get my trick room off. It's 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 over. It's done. It's Jover. Rain stopped. That's big. And yeah, everything is basically in range. Uh, we'll go for this Lunar Blessing and this Fiery Wrath, and I think that'll wrap it up. Like the, we're not gonna KO the Rillaboom here, but we should. Probably be slower than Rillaboom. I forget how fast Galarian Moltres is. Isn't it like 85 or 80? Like, we're going to get outsped by Rillaboom, but we should live. Because we have Reflect Up. Have you tried Calm Mind, Stored Power, Crest? Yes, it's very annoying and very funny. Himmy Turner, how are you doing? Hey, what day is your tournament? Aqua Jet? Oh, they do have it. You know what? We tank that. What'd I tell you? Galarian Boltress is base 90. Oh, okay. So we are going to get outsped here. Just kidding. Doesn't matter. Lunar Blessing. Going to get all that health back. Mostly it just matters on the on the Moltres because I want to, you know, click this button. Definitely AV on the Rillaboom. Not that it matters at this point. Tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern, you interested? Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? I have Dungeons and Dragons, man. Dungeons and Dragons, unfortunately. Alright, Lunar Blessing, let's hit him with the Air Slash. Yeah, Galarian Zapdos was like the base 100 one. All right, that should wrap it up. What's your D&D &D character? Um, it is a... Oh, what's the name of the class again? I'm blanking on it right now. But it is a um, rogue dragonborn named Elden Goldbottle. And I focus mainly on, like, um, agility and stuff. And I'm, like, just sneak attack character. You might wonder, why does Elden Goldbottle have a halfling last name? It's because he was raised by halflings. His egg was found in a in a tavern. There you go. All right, let's continue. That was a really that was a really solid game. Really solid game. Might have faced Shady Penguin. Might have been a random Shady. Probably just a random Shady. As we face Nikki, 
who is using a similar strategy, albeit I think we have a better matchup into this. So let's go ahead and lead off with Grimmsnarl and you and you. And man, I, I really want to bring the guy, but we haven't seen a single, a single Urshifu yet. Hmm. Do we do it anyways? Do we go for it or just let it slip? I just can't see a use for it in this game. Okay. We'll go cross again. We'll go cross again. I want to be a dentist in my next D&D &D campaign. Bet, dude. <laughs> Live your tooth. All right, let's see how my latest video is doing real quick. Yo, 64,000 subs. Also, this video is outperforming the previous one. All right, poggers. Nothing but W's, even though there was a massive editing error, nothing but W's. Even though we're... Alright, um, how much you want to bet it's like Draining Kiss? You know what? I'm actually gonna reflect here, because I'm smart and they're not. I'm gonna reflect here, because if I Terra Poison... Do I have a bad matchup if I Terra Poison? No, I don't. And I nasty plot. I take minimal damage from the spirit break and also nearly nothing from what is obviously about to be a Terra Fairy Draining Kiss. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Aaron used this team today. Well, I didn't watch the video. I was at work. I might just be cracked. I might just be insane, dude. It's Horse Flutterman. Light screen, okay. No spirit break, but is it Draining Kiss? Or is it like, you know, the other thing that it can do? Draining Kiss? It's Draining Kiss. Can that be into my... Yep, okay, good. Specter Man. Now... I go for the light screen. And I also want to get massive damage off onto you. I'm going to get parting shotted. That's fine. It comes with the territory of no longer being a dark type. I do have the opportunity to parting shot this thing next turn. Draenica shouldn't do too much either. Gastrodon? Okay, I have to be careful with you. Shadow Ball? Okay, nice. No Draining Kiss. No Spit F Drop. Decent damage despite everything. All right, and I'm actually gonna do something kind of crazy here. If I parting shot, what's the downside? You know, in all honesty, I should probably focus down you. Spirit break, protect. I was kind of trying to call a protect on their guy, but I'll take it. Shadow ball, okay, cool. I think they're gonna want to yawn me. So this damage is going to be really useful. 
Oh, that's doing nothing. Oh my god. And it's Rocky Helmet. This could be kind of annoying. This could be kind of annoying. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and parting shot you. And I think I'm honestly more concerned with you now. You don't have any recovery. I can kind of leave the other guy alone for a second. I'm going to get in my Landorus here, which is AV. Yeah, that Gastro thinks something tickled it for sure. Because they nasty plot on me. They hit me with the nasty, bro. If I get icy winded, I'm going to throw up. Crit. No, nope, no crit. Berry. That's very annoying. All right, we're going to get a little bit of a boost here. And because I'm a smart fella and not a fart smella, I recognize that I should basically always be targeting this guy down. I think stopping tantrum into fire wrath should do it. Because they only have light screen, they don't have the other one. As they protect. Okay. Can you, like, get flinched, please? That'd be so cool. Or, like, crit. That'd be cool, too. Flinch or a crit. I'll take either one because I feel like I might be getting icy winded slash ice beamed. Flinch. 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 Right now. Flinch. Do it. Come on. Okay, well, we should eat that, because, you know, all the stuff that we set up. Awesome. Cool. Stomping Tantrum. Am I crazy? Should I Rock Slide? I'm a little crazy. I'm going to Rock Slide just to make sure I can actually pick up a KO on this Gastrodon, because I actually get the sinking feeling that they might not stay in with Spectre. I get the sinking feeling they're not going to stay with Spectre and they want to get rid of this Lando ASAP. Don't do like sunk cost fallacy and think you need to stay in. Just recognize that your win con is the Spectre. Don't sunk cost fallacy here. No, it stayed in. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we hit that up like Reese's Puffs. But F drop, never mind. This is no longer okay. Berserk boost? Never mind, it's fine. Because that should KO. And now this is a single target rock slide, which I think should just barely KO. Because you have bad physical defense. And I'm Landorus. Untitled folder, Ash. Did I hear the Dunsparce? You certainly did. My apologies. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, what's the last Mon? Jolingo? Okay. So. Luckily, they've already wasted their Terra. I have no reason not to stopping Tantrum. And Fiery Wrath every time. Because if there's specs, I live and I get a lot of damage off. And if they want to go for, like, Reflect or anything, I'm still fine. Okay, cool. I hope that I, I hope that you're not specs and that I'm faster. Awesome. Poggers, you're gone. Oh, he lived. Okay. You're still gone, I hope. Okay, I'm just faster. That is a slow, slow to go. Slow, slow to go. Slow to go. Slow to go. All right. Now behold, as I click stomping tantrum and the other move, air slash. Look, Landris is looking to his left or er, looking to his right, like bro. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage, bro. Good job. Base Lando outspeeds. True, but I figured they might have a little bit more speed. Then again, it is like a Moltres Golden Go team. They probably don't need it. Dude, Moxie, uh, I've been watching your vids all day. Getting back into VGC currently. Your vids are go to bro. Uh, keep it up. They've helped me big time. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos. 
All right, please let me bring this to Dunsparce to like one game. I, I want it. Look, I get that like it's probably not the best pick, but it's still gonna be really funny if we can get a win with it. All right, give me like an Urshifu water. Can I justify this? Can I can I justify this? Let me think. Yes, I can justify it. I'm a bad person. I don't care that this might be throwing. We're doing the thing that I've been trying to do this whole video. We're using the Dunsparce. And we're going to click Glare, and we're going to click Tailwind, and we're going to click Rock Slide. Thank you. Throw for content worth 100%. You don't know me. You have no idea what I'm capable of. I have made a grave and continuous lapse in judgment. Or whatever Logan Paul said. Um... I'm gonna wait. We're Terra Ghost, not Terra Steel. Okay, that's fine. Light screen. That actually helps here. I thought we were Terra Steel because the pace said Terra Steel. Light screen, Tailwind. Take out the Grim Snarl because you don't want me to get screens up. Terra Steel. That is 100% gonna be specs. We should just barely tank with light screen up. You sent the old paste? Oh, okay. All right. I mean, it's going to hurt, but we do have a lot of spit F. You know what? I believe in the Dunsparce. You might not, but I do. I do believe in the Dunsparce. We just need to live this. Bam! Oh, that didn't actually hurt that bad. And now it's gonna hit like a wet noodle. Tailwind up. And because it hits like a wet noodle and we have recovery, I see no reason to... Should I go for a reflect? I could parting shot here. And just go for the rock slide. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. I can probably get into my Galarian Moltres now. Actually, Landorus isn't a bad call either. Landorus isn't a bad call either. Because I can U-turn. Rock slide, double flinch. There's one? Well, I guess th there's one. That's all I need. All right. And now, now, my friends, we U-turn. And I am going to go for the hyper drill. I have never clicked this move in my life. I need this to be cool. I need this to be cool. Jet punch, that's going to bounce off of me. Easy. U-turn. Big damage. Hyper Drill's base 100. It probably doesn't KO, but it'll still be really funny. It's also getting our Moltres. Actually, I can get in Grim Snarl. KO. It didn't KO. This move sucks. All right, Rocky Helmet, very clutch there. If that Golden Go so much as tries to click a move versus me, I am going to Spirit Break him so hard. I am going to Spirit Break this thing so super duper hard, bro. And I'm also going to Hyper Drill, actually. I'm not really concerned with the Golden Go damage output for a little bit. 
And I, yeah, I want to hyper drill. I want to click this move as many times as possible because if that Rillaboom tries to come back in for Palafin, which it is going to right here, there's no reason to stay in with that Palafin. The Rillaboom's coming back in and it's gone. I am, I am annihilating it. I am removing it from history. You can glare the Palafin, I think. Don't care. It's getting hyper drilled. We're getting a KO with hyper drill. There's the Rillaboom. It's not Rillaboom. That's still decent damage. I'll take it. What is your item? Grassy Seed? That hurt. That this Pokemon's garbage. All right, yeah, they're gonna eat, like acrobatics me. I'm gonna get a reflect up, and I'm gonna glare. Also, this uh, Dunsparce isn't nearly as fast as I thought it was. Uh, reflect. Did I get more out of Tailwind or more out of Glare? I think I get more out of Tailwind. Thunderous kick, we're gonna go down. Goodbye to Dunsparce. Alright, luckily, luckily, this isn't the worst spot to be in. I did just get a reflect up. I can parting shot on Palafin. And this should be a free air slash. It's just the uh the golden go specifically that's kind of concerning. Endgame golden go could be really bad. Parting shot you, air slash you. That should KO, right? There's no way that doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. What if I get thunderous kicked into wave crash? Is that what they do here? Is that like their their play? All right, parting shot goes off. Let's get in the Landris. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I'm going to give it a Defiant boost. I'm an idiot. I forgot that I have to switch in Landris. Doesn't matter if he does no damage, right? I think this is still worth it. Because this should KO, right? There's no way this doesn't KO. It, it didn't KO. It didn't KO. Guys, guys, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario just happened. All right, we tank. Cool. Now that we know just how fast our Moltres is, I think I can start clicking. Um, I think I can start clicking the move. We should be able to eat a Jet Punch. Stomping Tantrum into you. Fiery Wrath. Of course it lived. It's He's the GOAT. Alright. This should KO whatever comes in. Hopefully it's Golden Goat. Alright, that will still get KO'd. I'm probably not in the best endgame situation though, to be honest. Because there is still a Golden Goat. You just haze me? I, I did not appreciate that. I just got hazed. All right. I haven't seen haze in a minute, bro. Also, now we know Palafin's faster. Kind of a rough spot. There's Joldingo. I have to do this. 
Moltres, just live. I know you're not gonna, but just live. Oh, he jet punched me. All right. Oh my god. Wait, are we gonna clutch this? I did not expect to win that. Also, it's a speed tie on the... Oh, no, it's not a speed tie. You jet punched. I'm an idiot. I almost said something really stupid. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second until I catch my breath. There's a lot of stuff going on on screen that I didn't account for. All right, that's gone. Light screen's gone. It's fine. It's fine. Just Galarian Zapdos. That should be game. Because I can Rock Slide and Air Slash, and as long as I don't miss both of these moves. Nice. Okay. I did not expect to win that to Dunsparce game. I'm going to be honest, guys. That was probably a fluke. <laughs> That was probably a fluke, let's be real. Anyways, um, if, if you guys enjoyed this Dedunspar session, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, the Pokey Paste, I hope, I'll remember to put it in the description down below. Um, and yeah, do whatever, subscribe, have a nice one, bye.